Hey what's up guys, today in this video, I'll show you how to unlock bootloader, install TWRP and root your Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Indian variant, Redmi Note 7S and Redmi Note 7 Global variants in 2020. This method works equally on all the Redmi Note 7 models globally. And before we begin, if you are new to this channel, help us to reach 12,000 subscribers before the end of April and hit the bell icon to never miss some more upcoming content and with this, Let's get started. First of all, we need to unlock the bootloader. Remember unlocking the bootloader will wipe your device. And if you have any important files then, kindly take a backup of your device before unlocking the bootloader. So now, to unlock the bootloader, go to about phone from your phone setting and tap 7 times on MIUI version to unlock the developer option. Now, under the system and device. Go to additional settings and open the developer option. Here, enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. Now turn off your Wi-Fi and enable cellular data to register your device with the Mi account so that we can unlock the bootloader. Click on agree and select add account and device. This will link your Mi account to the device and I already have done this air back. Remember Xiaomi won't allow us to unlock the bootloader instantly. And if you are registering your device for the first time, then you have to wait for at least 360 hours, which is 15 days. Two weeks later. After waiting for 15 long days, now let's unlock the bootloader. Click on the volume down and power button simultaneously until you see the fastboot screen like this. And now, connect your phone to the PC and download the Mi Unlock software. Download link will be in the description, you can download from there. As I have already downloaded, let's open the Mi Unlock software. Log in with your Mi account which you have used on your device. And now, click on unlock to the prompt. And the unlocking process has begun. And we have successfully unlocked the bootloader on this device. The phone will reboot itself, all your data will be wiped and I'll quickly come back after setting up the device. As the bootloader is successfully unlocked, now let's install the TWRP and root the device. Again, go to about phone and tap 7 times on MIUI version to enable developer option. Again, go to developer option and enable the USB debugging. You can clearly see the bootloader is already unlocked. Now, Press volume down and power button together until you see the fastboot screen like this. Make sure your device is connected to the PC and now let's jump to the PC part. Installing the TWRP and rooting the device is so easy that all you need is these 5 files. All the download links of these files will be in the description, you can download from there. And now let's install the ADV setup first. Double click on the ADV setup and press Y to each prompt and install the ADV driver on your PC. After installing the ADV driver, now copy and paste the TWRP image file to the platform tools folder. Now inside the platform tools folder, on the address bar, click on it and write CMD. 
hit enter and it will enable the command prompt like this. Now write fastboot space devices. You will get some arbitrary number which means your device is connected successfully. If you don't see your device, it means that the device drivers aren't installed properly or the device wasn't connected properly. And if this happens, please reinstall your drivers or use the original data sync cable. Now write this command fastboot space flash space recovery. and drag the twrp image file into the cmd like this and hit enter. Now this will flash twrp on your device. Now press volume up plus power button simultaneously until you see the twrp recovery like this. After you are on twrp home screen, go to wipe and click on advanced wipe and select data, now remove the data by swiping it. Now let's copy the disable DM verity and the magix file which we have downloaded earlier. If you are using the original data sync cable, you should see the storage option of your device. Even if you don't see storage option, go to mount and select system and enable MTP. Make sure the MTP is enabled and you will see the storage option once you enable the MTP. Now, you simply copy the disabled DM Verity and Magix file into the internal storage of your device. After copying this file, now flash the disabled DM Verity. For that, go to install and select it and swipe it. As we have already flashed the disabled DM Verity, now let's root our device. The process is again the same, just go to install and select the magic zip file and swipe it to flash it. And everything is done. Now we have successfully rooted the device as well. And now reboot the device. If in case you don't see the Magix Manager on a device after flashing Magix Zip, you simply install the Magix Manager app which we have copied earlier. And if Magix Manager is already present, then we don't have to do anything. You can see Magix is successfully installed and it's up to date. And now let's check the root status. And we have also successfully rooted the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Lavender and if you want to know how to install the custom ROM on this device, I have already made a video on this and you can find the link in the description. And before leaving, help us to reach 12,000 subscribers before the end of this month as it will motivate me to make this kind of video in the upcoming days and also do hit the bell icon and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.